Hi there Brahmas, this is Mario again. Welcome back to part three of this um, library module. So in this video, I wanna point out a few features of our website that I feel students should be aware about. So you know that our databases are in that A through Z tab, but right underneath that, you see one labeled subject guides. So I know that subject guides might be a little vague for the average student, but essentially a library guide is just a web page that librarians have created so that we can guide students or users through a specific topic. Most of our subject guides deal with the discipline or department you know, of a field of study. So for example, we have a guide on ASL, American Sign Language or Biology and Microbiology. We have one on Communication Studies. We have one on English and ESL. And we also have one on Literary Criticism. And I thought we had one on Writing and comp Composition, yes. We also have another one called Citing Your Sources, which I mentioned in the first video. And another one on Annotated Bibliographies. So depending on your assignment or the things that your professors are asking you to do, you might find some of these guides useful or librarians might refer you to these guides because they are already working as a shortcut. For example, if you had an assignment for an English class in which you had to analyze a piece of literature, we would normally refer you to this guide, the Literary Criticism Library Guide, because it kind of tells you, okay, these are the best databases for literary research. And then, you know, our list kind of tags the databases by most popular or best bet. And then even these databases, right, which is quite... Um, a lengthy list I would say I would probably only recommend like two or three that I find the most useful so it's always great to talk to a librarian especially about the assignment that you're working on on the or the research topic because we know this website and the tools that we are buying every year we know these resources the best right so we can refer you quickly so that you don't waste a lot of time trying to figure out how to start your research. Now, if we go back to the library's homepage, I also wanted to point out that in the quick info box right underneath here, there is a help tab and it says chat with a librarian. So this widget, you can literally start chatting with a real librarian virtually of course, but it works 24 seven, like any time of the day, any day of the day of the, uh, any day of the week. It's a nationwide service where a lot of academic librarians contribute their hours so that we can just answer questions by students all over the states. And usually it might pop up, the same widget will pop up right here on the, right hand side it's the same function but you can literally start chatting with a real librarian at any moment right so if you're working on an assignment late at night or early morning there is ways to ask for help right so why struggle if there is a friendly librarian just waiting to help you with your research papers so that's that's that and I also wanted to point out that we do have a Instagram account. So if you are on Instagram, please find us and follow us. Our handle is just Pierce Library, simple, no punctuation. And through this Instagram account, we try to keep you updated as to, you know, the newest things that are happening with the library or with the campus, any new tools or programs that we might be offering, or just tips, you know, and recommendations, um, helpful advice, hopefully. So let's go back to the library's homepage. 
And what else was I going to cover? Oh yeah, so we do have some video tutorials and we usually upload those to our YouTube channel. But if you go to learning resources, keep in mind that we do have a library science class for one credit that you can take in the fall and in the spring. We also have workshops on Canvas. So sometimes professors offer you extra credit for completing these workshops. And you know, they're focused around some research topic like citation styles or evaluating websites. And yeah, our video tutorials are right here. So now that we have all gone into this all online learning environment, the library and librarians are creating more video tutorials and other digital learning tools that can help not only students, but faculty, you know, help students guide them through the research. So yeah, did you know how to find us? If you have any questions about the library at any moment in this summer or in the fall semester, feel free to bug us. You know, we're, we're always there, especially on Instagram.